Very good. Look, um, overall, the, the, the concept of the piece and interpretation, it's where I like it. I, 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 musically, I think, again, you know, in terms of form and, 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 and the concept, it, it's, it's very good. Um, I would want to enhance uh, sort of the, 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 the emotional content of it. The, 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 you know, if we are talking about a, you know array of colors, I just want to make them come out even more. So you know, whatever whatever emotional uh, um, sort of message or contact each of these parts have, I want to emphasize that a little bit more. So that that involvement mm -hmm. is there. Secondly, on 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 the technical, well, with that emotional part, it's closely uh, related to the the dynamic development. Mm -hmm. So the dynamics need, 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 need to help that as well, which leads then to, to, to the technical part where, which I want to address just a few things about, about the right hand, what I, what I think when you play, um, I want to get more of your sort of um, transfer of your weight, even like for, for from the back into the guitar, so that when you're playing some, you know, part, strong parts of... What I think with your right hand, it's almost like, like if you are sort of picking the strings a little bit more upwards, and you tend to have a little bit more of a thinner sound. Yeah. Rather than if I come behind you, I'll, I'll, I'll show it like this. If I'm pressing in, in, into your strings, I want the direction of the, the energy to be in, in, inside. And you get this. See that? Your guitar has a good tone. Rather than out rather than this picking inside. So for that, when you put your hand on, on the guitar, and if you want to do that, I would say elevate the wrist just tiny little bit so that you can feel from here, almost like pushing, as I said before, you know, like, you see this? Mm -hmm. Try to direct the energy inside, yeah, and then pluck. And you're, you're, you, you're, you direct it again, and then you release it, and then you still press with your fingers. Use the fingers as, just as a trigger of this push that you will make with that's a, that's a fuller tone. Yeah. Hear that? Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yes. So you have this kind of mass, body mass, and, and, and your bigger muscles, directing the energy into the strings, and the fingers just acting as a release, as a trigger for it. Not as a producer of the sound, not as the ones that are picking and making the string work. You get this. But rather than this. I direct my energy, and I don't want to, I don't want to rest stroke now, I want to, I want a free stroke. So you direct that energy, you hold, you hold, you see this? This is not just my finger, my finger would be this. Right. That's a different. If I press with my whole body into this, and I can do that. That's sort of the so you get a fuller tone. Okay. Okay? That's one thing. Um, I think a little bit on the speed, especially with the scales. Mm -hmm. Can develop that. It will take some 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 time, but that that, that, that can be developed. And it's not, it's not nothing wrong. It's just something to pay attention and to work on. Right. And that One comes thing and goes for me. Right? Hmm? That comes and goes for me. Right? Comes and goes. Right. M meaning you can play faster, or then then. Meaning if I'm perfectly warmed up, I can do it. If I'm not perfectly warmed up, then it's, it's still okay. Fine. Still too out of time. Okay. Right? We'll see you then towards the end of the lesson. But one thing that I really do want you to correct is your left hand position concerning your pink. Your okay. pinky mainly works from extended position. Have you been this morning at the, at the, at the technique yeah. workshop that I gave? Mm -hmm. And I've talked about that. Yes. Right. So I really want you to address okay. that. So what I gave this morning, this sort of alignment exercise on the fifth, that's it. You, you see, when I tell you, the good thing is you do it right away. Mm -hmm. So I will want you to practice this, and the, the exercise will be printed out so you can take what and to be very careful about maintaining this, and I will point out how to do that also when you are playing in the piece, what needs to be adjusted. Mainly, it will be this. Put, put your arm back there, it will be this. Elbow closing, and that will bring the pinky. Another thing, give me your arm, just give me your arm. Put it like this, press against my finger. I want you to remember this feeling. Now pull with your arm. Remember this feeling. 
Okay. Now release a little bit and let it loose. I want this point of contact and this point of contact. All this is loose. Give me, give, make it strong. See? And you get a flexibility, and mm -hmm. yet you can get a strength. Let's do the other way around. You press against my finger, I'll show you what I want. This is very strong, you see? I can do this. Mm -hmm. I want to utilize this energy of my arm, of my whole body, okay. pulling onto this. Not only pinky, but it's weak. Right. But in the same time, I have this contact, I have this strong contact, but I have the flexibility. You feel that? Mm -hmm. That's what I want you to find. And you get that image, press. You're moving it from your elbow. I want you from your shoulder. Yeah. See? And even from your body. Yeah. So that you can have that flexibility and the strength as well. Okay? Back to the piece. I would like a tiny bit slower in the beginning to hear out these harmonics and to create sort of like evocative feeling, as it says, with inv invocation. Mm -hmm. Okay? A little bit slower, a little bit more meditative and also to create the distinction between the melodic part, which is which is that line. Mm -hmm. from, from, I'm a Lamor Rupa, by the way. So, that when you play harmonics, Go towards that first one with a little bit of crescendo. So here is the crescendo, and here these are making are being a little bit more important. Okay. So that when you listen, you're listening on the various levels, not just all the notes as you are playing, but that in your hand, in your ears, is this ta di da da di because it's F and then da, and then like that you shape the whole phrase a little bit, okay. rather than each movement. Okay. Together with me, let's try to do it together. So that tempo, one and two, and ready, and. Crescendo, pam, less. Crescendo towards F. singing sort of the melodical mm -hmm. line up there, okay? By yourself, now, the same tempo, but I want to feel that through the music you will take me somewhere else. Wherever that place can be. It could be a temple, at the canyon, or whatever, it could be a forest. It just has to be, you know, or a magical amor rubric. It can be fairy land, but it has to be, you transport yourself somewhere else, away from a little bit slower, a little bit slower, and, and feel that calmness. Different color of that F. Do you remember how? What was your color? Yeah. Now give me the chord so that it's similar. Yeah. It's not that bright and ponticello. You understand? Because it's still part of the same line. That's it. That's it. Now it makes it more. Easy. The feeling you stay with it until. That's it. Yeah. So even when you play, you're feeling that stillness. Now, just to correct what I said about the pinky, can you play me that harmonics again? Slowly. Watch now the pinky, you see? There, when you hit the bass, I want you to bring it, play now that bass, this one. Yeah, but I want you to extend it, I want you to curve it. Curve. That's what I want you to do. Okay? If you don't correct it, your technique will be fine, but it will 
tough at one point. It's going to make it more difficult. Okay. You will utilize this. It's going to make it more comfortable. Okay. So do please pay attention to that to correct it yourself. Okay. Let's go to these chords again. What's your tone? What's your tone? Remember how the harmonics were. What color? Even darker. Even a little more. That's it. Are those carbon strings? Um, no. No. Okay. A little bright. Fine. That's good. That's more similar to, to sort of colors of, of those harmonics. Okay. Okay. Now the 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 bass. What I showed you about weight. Mm -hmm. You are doing it with the very tip of your nail. You are losing all the energy that you have there. If I do it with my nail, you hear this? If I combine a little bit more the fingertip, I have finger. Try to not to bend this joint a little too much. Still, I think the nail is a little too long to, to, to allow you that big transfer that is happening. What you do is more the nail. I feel that as a difference. No matter how much pressure you put, you're just having a nail. I want more that. Ah, that's better. That's better. You feel that? Much cooler tone. That's it. That's it. And very decisive. That's it. Awesome. Correct your pinky. That's it. You do this with your elbow. Play me that note again. Remember the feeling I just gave you with. Musically, I want to create a tension, as opposed to this, which is very calm, mm -hmm. there, very loud, strong. With these little notes that are here with, with, with the piano, I want them much faster. If you can do it with, with, with I and M or I A, that's fine. But what I do, I bring the thumb, I bring all fingers there, and I use sort of like a cross-string trill combination. P A I M. Yeah. Sometimes I use just I A or I A I M, like here, for example. But all these combinations that are six, I start with I on the first one, and then. I A P A I M P. That's it. And you will be able to make really strong this and very soft and fast. Okay. And it's easier on all fingers. If you can do it, as I said, if you can do just single, you know, I am. I can't do it that fast. But these, because they will also create a certain tension when they're a little bit faster, okay. right? Okay. So you can practice that later. I can also give you the copies of my music and you see the thing. Right. Play now as you as you did. What's your pinky? Let's work backwards. Put the pinky where it should be. Thinking that's it. You see how you brought your palm up? You brought your elbow in. Now you remember that, you make that as a physical image, tactile image that you remember, you let your body remember, and you work, you work from there. Okay. So you set yourself, and then... Good. Okay. have more of a flamenco feeling. Da -di -da -da, da -di -da -di -da -di. Play. More emphasis. More feeling. Da -di -da -di -da -di -da. And let this fade into the feeling of the beginning. Go to part, play. Right. 
right on the top of the G. That's right, play me this harmonic. Is that right? Play me A. Play me G. Remember that G, remember the quality. Play me this chord. It's an octave. That's it. Same thing here. Identifying the feeling, the same like I can clearly identify what the technical problem is, this and that, the feeling is not quite yet there. I'm, I have to see you more excited about that. It's not even excited, it's more, there's a certain, it's not, it's not an anger, but it's, 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 it's decisiveness about the bass line. Like Matador, you know, in Spain, when you're bullfighting, you have to have more of that feeling. Play me that, but that's such, such feeling. That's it, keep it there. Stay with G. That's it. That's it. Remember how we hit that? Play me A and B like that. Remember the that tone of quality and the feeling with that. The same thing happens. Yes. Feel that? That's it. Okay. Now, in, it says piumoso, so a little bit faster. So I was just looking for a color and sort of the beginning of that feeling, right? But piumoso is going to be faster, and I want very much this top. Of, imagine if you are playing a cello. <laughs> Yeah, so follow through that line until the very long end. Okay. Sing it inside of yourself. Stay with that. It has a sort of painful feeling, okay? Like you could say, the time con dolore. And also, I would be more free about, about this 16 note there. This line don't bring me the basses that much. This is what's important. That's important. This is like a little echo there. Not that important. Play me that again. I'm hearing more this. I hear those louder than this. And it has to be in reverse. Double bass, it pops out so much. But the same intensity, what you did, you just elevated the wrist. Mm -hmm. And you are using the, the whole feel of your arm. The same thing here. Use a little bit more of a mass to hit that. Better? That's what I want. No matter what you do on the, on, 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 on the accompanying line. So play me 
Now, for a practice, play, play me this. Look, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, soft, soft. Understand? Very slow, but distinguishing dynamically. Very loud bass, and it's much softer than average. The third bass didn't sound. Play it again. More, more towards the bridge. More towards the bridge. Softer on these. That's it. That's it. So we are separating it. Now this is a purely technical issue, how to do it. Yeah. And and, and it's a muscle memory where muscles will remember loud, very, very soft. Play me this. Remember how it sounds. Remember how it feels. Do it again. Feel the lightness. You're just brushing the string. Add the bass. Add full speed. Yeah. louder and there's still not there's still not that quick physical separation right so you can practice it to get otherwise I'm here way too much on earth you hear it's open slow practice and it, uh, it will take care of it. okay uh, let's go on okay now this one has to sing so much yeah, so deeper tone it's you're plucking very much with a finger with a, with the tip of your nail and I'm hearing thin sound I want yes. say I pull back here softer softer so you can you can big yeah so that you can build this line from a um, piano into forte okay begin slower begin softer play me this line from there, there. Mm -hmm. more passion no 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 don't play there's something you're shy to express mm -hmm. don't control it go for it imagine what would this be that's it Back. This is this is your sort of turning yeah, point into that okay. decrescendo. This is all connected. There's a melodic line that it's going and it's not interrupted all the way from here. All the way from... It's just playing around this note. B flat E, G, right? And then this line. 
So keep that going. Maybe once again from here we'll do it together. as the beginning of the arpeggios, but rather as the end of this line. And then something like these arpeggios sort of begin underneath it, okay. and the F sharp takes another role, okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe that scale again. this morning but for this particular and then you're not sure and you stop and then you move there and you're not sure so there's that sort of anxiety which way this way that way and that's what happens here sort of like, oh, it's there and I'm going for it. Mm -hmm. Play me just open strings. Very relaxed. Mm -hmm. Do it high. 
transfer the same feeling onto the thumb. It's too loud. Listen to it. Do it again. IP. So I want them to get even because it will make it faster rather than doing PIMA. You understand? And, and it, it would.
form of, of it makes it easier for the right hand. For for me, for some people it wouldn't. You can do just. But the main point is that it has an incredible strong forte throughout. You know, musically speaking, slowly down. So the tension of that C, and you to come to this. Okay. Okay. Let's go on. for these accents where they have to be. Mm -hmm. My suspicion is that throughout all these different, well, let's say, first of all, you know, Rodrigo wrote it in Braille, or he dictated, who knows who wrote it on the paper, mm -hmm. where did they make a mistake in writing the, perhaps the, the accents, and then different editions putting the accents in different places. The mm -hmm. only thing what I hear is this Nanza del Fuego from, from, from the fire, and the accents are on, on, on the, uh, on They're always on that, I think, it's, uh, in the middle mm -hmm. part. When you hear that piece, you'll recognize where that, that, where the record. Right. So it doesn't go wap, pam, 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 pam. Yes, but pi, pa, ta, pa, 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 pi, pa. So it's on the third and on the seventh. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two. So you're ta. saying it's not, it is here? Yeah, not here. what I'm saying, it's always here and here. And some some editions will change and some editions will I don't think it's here or I don't think it's on the first one. Okay. Ta, ti, so you are putting it on the higher chord. And not on this one. And not this one also either. But then again, could be the preference or something like that. I'm just wondering, you know, where did this come from?
the, this um, tremolo feel that you have here, or it has a more of a gentle feel to it. Versus a dance like feel. Okay, so that has to be a little bit jumpier, especially this when it comes the second time, it says forte. I want it more passionate, and then bring it back to this. Okay, so play me once again. Do it again. Your tone again is thin. I want fuller. Put the fingers on the string with the thumb as well. Elevate the wrist a little bit, that's it. Push with your arm. Feel, feel your finger guitar. Try out. Just one of these. Not so much the guitar. Yeah, that's that's a fuller tone, but on your guitar can sound the same. Too metallic. Guitar itself has a little bit more of that uh, sort of metallic color to it that you have to just a little bit pay attention to as it can do it. When you're playing this, think of the C sharp on the top, play me that. Yeah. So connect that sometimes the voice, this melodic voice here, will give that same feeling to this bass there. Mm -hmm. Can you understand yeah. speaking? Okay. Play me that again. Actually, play me this true, play me this true. This has to continue into this once again. Pay attention to the So this is evoking this melody. Down in the bass, and then yeah. what's your 
color. I want the same as you had this sort of more more dark bass is louder than arpeggio, and then the tremolo doesn't come out that strong and that bright, but. Oh, sorry, I went to a different part, right? Can't sing and play the same thing. Play it once again from there. Darker, darker, more tasks. Play me this. Remember that color, that feeling? Begin the tremolo. Move the arm towards the tasto now. tremolo section also uh, a little bit more flexible uh, you see that would be here with yeah so as I'm trying this let me just try here so because every time this comes it, it sort of repeats then it goes second time so the first time make it make it not so not developing so much There. 
tornando there. Prendi this. Taka taka tika taka tira ra 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 these tremolo notes, these three notes, and these three notes will be almost like a mirror image of each other of ritardando and accelerando. Okay. So you're slowing taka taka yaka taka 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 da. Yeah, you understand? So if this is ritardando here, and here is accelerando to a tempo here, okay? okay? And it makes like a very nice transition. Stretching like that. See, so my 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 third is extending like sort of forward. Mm -hmm. This has to be has to stay stationary. Let me just try to work with your hand a little bit. Don't worry about this finger. Bring the wrist back. Bring the wrist back because you think it has to be more secure. Got the cord again now. Try to lean this way. That's it. Now try to extend the third without moving this one. Uh -huh. So it's hard. Mm -hmm. You remember those exercises we did this morning? That will help also. As you do the exercise, maybe a month from now you come back and try it uh -huh. after stretching the finger. Show me where you play it. You're playing it. Um, That's it. So don't make it so it's pianissimo. So make it almost like a, just a rumor. Not really understandable. That's it. That's, that's all musically what I need to do. You're fine with it. You don't even have to worry about that other part. That's it. Wait, 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 wait. Let the feeling go. Play, play that again. This is just, you understand that this is, um, after you had this huge forte here, that's why I played even I wanted like sort of like a climax there in spite of indication, that, well somebody crossed it over and made it like this, right? So you can add more bass because we have a right also to add the same like Pepe did mm -hmm. to or, or Alirio mm -hmm. it's every musician's right by the sense of, of sort of musical principles and, and aesthetics and with the time of the confidence is that you understand what the music is about, understand your instrument and add to it, mm -hmm. to the feeling that you think that the, the music wants to be. So in this instance... <laughs> Uh, 
D D D D D da 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 here changes into A, right? Right. Um, yeah, but it still has A in the spell D. Yeah, so I muted in there. Okay? And then once we are done, uh where's the There it changes to We've seen a few, few uh, technical things, but mainly your technique, this, this pinky and, and the sound, the reduction of sound, filling it all the way with the, all this part of the body, okay. okay? So that you can dynamically <coughs> develop huge dynamics. Mm -hmm. And also in the tremolo. <laughs> right? Okay. Thank you very, very much.